You're watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales, in the beautiful by nature Texas and Caicos Islands. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. In our headlines today, ambulance workers are sick and tired of their working conditions. Government denies striking a deal with the Hotel Association on work permits and immigration matters. Four contracts awarded by Cabinet last week. A U.S. Coast Guard ship visit TCI. And we also have a report on the funds raising cocktail party for Ms. Turks and Caicos. I'm Todd Dafferlin, and thanks for watching this edition of Sun TV News. Members of the Emergency Ambulance Service, EMS, are expected to always be on call whenever there is a medical emergency. In fact, whenever they are late for any emergency, they become the target of some rather strong criticism from the general public. But Sun TV has discovered that these ambulance workers have some really serious problems of their own. On a daily basis, they have to work in very sickening conditions at these temporary headquarters, which is located at the Disaster Management Office on Leeward Highway. While their working conditions can be no excuse for whatever complaints the public may have about the ambulance workers, it is something that the Ministry of Health authorities need to resolve. There is no running water, so they can't even wash their hands or flush the toilets. There are no proper facilities to eat or rest. There is only a small, uncovered, dirty mattress on the floor. The ambulance staff told Sun TV they are literally sick and tired of working in such conditions. They said they have been complaining to the authorities and the Ministry of Health about their working conditions for some time now. But their plea have so far have apparently fallen to deaf ears. Up to the time of filming this report, Sun TV was unable to obtain a response from the Ministry of Officials. We will continue to follow this story and bring you development as they unfold. I'm Todd Lynn Zafferlin, reporting from the Ambulance Service Headquarters on Leeward Highway and Providenciales for Sun TV. In an article published on a local blog, TCI Affairs, the government has been accused of surrendering employment and immigration policy making to the Turks and Caicos Hotel and Tourism Association. However, Samin being senior press and protocol officer in the premier Dr. Rufus Ewing's office, said this allegation is based on a proposal submitted to the government by the TCHTA about fast tracking of certain applications for work permits and appointments to the immigration board. Being said, the government categorically denies that it has accepted the proposal. She said the tourism industry is important to the economy of these islands and the making and implementation of policy is a function of the government. The senior press officer said that at the heart of the government's policy, it is the promotion of interests of belongers at all segments of the economy and at all levels. She said the proposal made by the TCHTA is not in keeping the government's policy, so there is no need for the public to be alarmed that the TCHTA will be in charge of setting or implementing government policy. Four contracts were awarded when Cabinet met in Grand Turk on Wednesday, September 18th. The contract to source and supply vehicles to the police force was awarded to Champion Trucking. The contract for the design and installation of a closed-circuit television system at a radar tower in Providenciales was awarded to Eagle Claw Security. The contract for the installation of a generator at a Green Door Hurricane Shelter in Grand Turk was awarded to r and Company. The contract for the construction of the customs warehouse and fence in Grand Turk was awarded to GNH Construction. Meantime, cabinet members heard an update on the negotiations regarding the national stadiums from the Minister of Education, Youth and Sports. Negotiations are ongoing between the Attorney General's Chamber on behalf of the government and the legal representatives for the TCI Education Foundation. The matters is expected to be resolved in due course, but Cabinet agreed that the matters will be eventually debated in the House of Assembly with the aims of agreeing the way forward. This is Sun TV. Real news as it happens. We'll be right back. Life moves fast. It's extraordinary what you can see when you take a second look. 
Capture the extraordinary around you with Digicel's 4G mobile internet. Share the moment instantly with our super fast speeds on your mobile device. The internet as it was meant to be. Only with Digicel 4G. Digicel. Be extraordinary. The Miami-based U.S. Coast Guard cutter Margaret Norville is presently in the Turks and Caicos Islands. The vessel is in the TCI waters as part of her normal patrolling duties. While here, the ship will be conducting a number of training activities with the Marine Unit of the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force and government immigration officials. The Coast Guard ship, which is Doc at the government pier on Grand Turk was welcomed by Acting Governor Anya Williams on Sunday, September 22, 2013. The Acting Governor said the TCI authorities are very keen to work closely with our international partners, such as the U.S. Coast Guard and the Royal Navy, to make the waters around our islands as secure as they can be. Together with our own coastal radar stations, the new joint facility on Inagua, the TCI is once again playing its role in combating people, drug, weapons, trafficking in the Caribbean region. It was an exciting evening of cocktail on Saturday, September 21st. Cocktail when the Glam and Chic fundraising party was held at the Burning Hall. The event was held to raise funds to help Ms. Thurston Caicos Noana Adams with her trip to the Miss Universe pageant in Russia in November. Organizer Cass Forbes gave on TV an overview of the event. Tonight's event, uh, the Glam and Chic Cocktail Party, it's a fundraising event by the Miss Church of Caicos University organization. We're raising funds for the Church of Caicos participation and representation at Miss Universe 2013, which will take place in Moscow, Russia, November 9th. Ms. TCI Sawana Adams said the preparation are going very well, although she is not 100% prepared. The preparations are going very well. Um, I have amazing coaches and trainers who are helping me in every aspect, from walking to makeup and hair to speech. Um, it's really going great. I'm really enjoying it and it's very exciting. I would not say I'm 100% ready, but every day I'm getting close to it. Well, that's our Sun TV News Brief for today. Join us again next time when we bring you real news as it happens, directly to your computer, mobile device, or smartphone. If you know anyone living overseas who wants to keep up with what is happening in the Turks and Caicos Islands, get them to email us at sun at suntci.com. We can also add them to our mailing list to get Sun TV News. Thanks for watching. I'm Tadlin Dapperlin.